Hello my friends, my name is Wieti and welcome back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. We are now in Flying Battery, which is one of the very few stages that I'm familiar with thanks to Sonic Mania. Uh, again, this, the level layout will be different, but right now it's feeling very familiar. Like to my speedrun tactics. Ah, damn. This is where I would land on the thing here, but it's different. It's entirely different. Oops. I mean, that was my bad. The problem is whenever Sonic's in the ball, he does go... He is smaller than he normally is, so whenever he stands up, like, those squashes happen a lot. That's not really a fault with, like, Origins or me or the game specifically, like... Well, it was a fault with me because I'm the one who, who went and spin dashed there when I shouldn't have, but... I didn't realize it would still be there. It's it's my fault for being an idiot, honestly. But there we go, we got the Flame Shield here. We can do some really good speed in this level. I'm really just going for Mania strats now. Oh my god, there's a lot here that mimics Mania quite well, but it's going to really throw me off when it changes. Okay, this is different, I believe. Okay. I can't believe I have to keep comparing Sonic 3 to Mania, but, like, you have to realize I played Mania more than I played... Like, I played Mania more than I played Sonic 1, CD, and 3, I think, together. Or, well, maybe not Sonic 1, but, like, with me speedrunning Mania, I did play it a lot. And, like, I got very familiar with those stages. And, like, all that has really gone away now, but, like... I did that for a long time. I didn't get sub 1R by luck, okay? I really put in that work. And again, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, it's 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 kind of wild, like, being able to transfer those skills over to this, which is good, because it means that, like, the physics are, like, maintained well enough that, like, it all works the same, which is good, because the physics in Sonic 1, 2, 3, and CD are, like, one of the most important aspects of it, like, more so than the music, in my opinion. Like, it's a good thing that like Whitehead and his team and Headcan for this port have managed to recreate the physics of Sonic so well. Because I don't know if I've made it clear, because I, I maybe use the word ports here and there. These are not ports. Well, technically they're not ports, but I'll get into that. Sonic 3 especially, like this is, um, these are all remakes. These are all built from the ground up with their own physics engine, which is called um, Retro Engine. And they've remade these physics themselves. Uh, Whitehead himself was like kind of the one who sort of started this whole thing. He made this physics engine. He was able to replicate the Genesis physics pretty damn immaculately to the point where like I don't even really notice the difference. I've been playing this game since I was a kid and I don't know. These are just the best ways to play the game in my opinion, like control wise, uh, especially with like the updates to like certain aspects of the games. Um, but when I say like the thing about the ports, um, so Sonic 1, 2, and CD, like I mentioned before, they've been on mobile phones for for years. Uh, so they're technically ports. They've they've been sitting on these ports for like nine years. Ah, damn. Um, but they've just only now have put it into a, a console release and also just a collection at all. Um, because they just didn't want to deal with like the music issue of Sonic 3, I guess. Okay, this is the same. Okay, this is different. I always hated this section because it just seems so strict, especially playing this with Knuckles because playing as Knuckles has a reduced height on your jump, so this section is ass. I also have no idea where the big rings are for this stage. So we're going to just hug some walls and see if we can find them. Ah, damn. Okay, this is... Yes, my, my mania memory is interfering with my Sonic 3 play. Aw, oh, damn, I thought I was in the middle. Okay. Let's go the high route, shall we? Alright, let's not. Fuck me, then. <laughs> do, 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 do. But yeah, we got some good music here with Flying Battery. Like, this is one that I'm glad didn't get replaced. But, like, I'm listening to this and I'm just like, yeah, like, some of the best stuff from, like, Sonic 3 is from, like, just the normal soundtrack, like, Flying Battery. Um, as mentioned before, I think, again, like, the, the worst one that we lost was Ice Cap. I think that's probably one of the catchiest. But, considering the details with Brad Buxer, um, kind of being what I can tell is an asshole, um, I'm kind of not sad that we lost it. Like, a lot of people have been arguing that the reason why we don't have the, the, the Jackson music in here is because Sega didn't want to pay the royalties. I think it's more so that Brad Buxer, who was, you know, working with Jackson, I think he's maybe got some sort of ego about him or some sort of reason that he's not letting the, the music get used because as this game was coming out i think there was an interview where he was like yep i worked alongside jackson and made the music or like jackson would like do like this or the other and then i would make the actual music essentially being like this is my music 
and that was right before Origins came out, and it's like, okay, and you're gonna let it play in Origins, right? Now that you're talking about it? No. I mean, obviously it hasn't been confirmed, but I feel like if they if they could, they would put the music in. I, th I feel like he's being the difficult part here, not, not Sega. But, um, you know, with all the other aspects of the game, you know, regarding the, the ports and the lack of cleaning it up with, uh, with Stealth, who's really upset with the way Sega has sort of treated the project. Not treated him specifically, but treated the project. Um, and I won't go into that. Go on to Twitter and look up Stealth, uh, or like Sonic Origins Stealth. You'll find the details that you want to find there, and you can read up on what's happened here. Um, but essentially, not enough dev time. Game wasn't delayed when it should have been. Um, bugs in the game that he knows were not meant to be there and he wants to patch out and he doesn't know a Sega will let him and he's worried about his professional relationship by speaking out but like he, he's one of the greats like stealth and headcanon and oh no maybe it was headcanon yeah it was headcanon that tweeted it I think I don't know look up both look up the Sonic Origins controversy you'll find it it's it's not gonna be hard to find um oh geez but I personally just don't know all the details of it while I'm just sitting here playing, but long story short, not enough uh, time given to the project and bugs not ironed out when they needed to be because Sega wanted to get it out for the holiday release. Uh, not the holiday release, sorry, the um, the birthday release. And it's like, I'm glad that we have a new Sonic game since fucking TSR slash Sonic Forces, even though I, know I didn't play TSR, but if it was going to be another rush title, it's not on. You say you were going to work on quality multiple times after Forces came out, and you once again lied to us. That was my fault. So, hopefully Frontiers is going to change that, because Frontiers is looking good. Again, the more we see, the better it's looking. Most recently, we just had Sage revealed, which is the villain in the game. So, it's looking exciting. So, hopefully there's good stuff. No! Ah, oh, I think there could have been a giant ring back there. There is in Mania. Uh, okay, I'm back here. I'm just gonna skip this time. I've spoken over this slot machine way too many times, um, and I'm rambling at this stage, but I'm gonna keep going for this jackpot. Ah, I didn't get the jackpot. All right. Oh, yeah, this dude. This dude's weird. Why does this dude look like a Futurama robot? Okay, so this dude, you just stand on his head, and then he hits himself. That, that's the boss. This is probably one of the least creative bosses. I mean, it's creative in the sense that it's the capsule itself is the boss, which is kind of cool in concept, and then you realize that this is all you have to do to fight it. It's underwhelming. And especially if you're supersonic, you just sit here, and you just, you don't have to move, because <laughs> he just hits him hits himself repeatedly. Like, maybe if, like, after a few hits, he got up and walked around or something, and then you had to actually fight him. I don't know. I don't know. A slightly underwhelming boss for a very cool stage. But it is what it is. Alright. Never liked the, the Act 2 version as much because of that. It sounds like the parents and Charlie Brown talking. Is that what they're called? Charlie Brown? No. Yes. Like, you know what I mean, like that sound that they all make. What a weird comparison, but you get it. If you were a child born in the 80s, you'd get it, says me, born in 95. Isn't there a hole here or something? Hmm. Maybe that's mania. I don't know. I don't remember. We haven't found any rings in this stage yet, though. Nah, not a fan. It's not quite as epic as the first act. But I mean, I suppose that's something I haven't really talked about. The idea that, like, each act gets its own music is cool. I like that. I will say that, in a way, I don't, because I do like, say, Emerald Hill. I don't really want to lose that. I wouldn't... Oh, Jesus. I wouldn't really want to, to lose what I love about that music in that zone um, by an Act 2 version. Uh, like, a lot of times when I hear, like, fan remixes of so zones like Emerald Hill, I feel like it loses part of the charm for me personally. Um, but yeah, I think the Act 2s are, are like a good addition. Like that's another reason why people are like, this is the Defenders Sonic game. It's like each act gets its own music. There's transitions between acts and between zones. And it's like, I get all that. I do agree. I still just think that Sonic 2 is a way more fun experience. I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I hope that didn't just glitch and duplicate itself, but maybe that's for Tails. Damn, I didn't need to go. I was just impatient. Um, 
I don't know. I, I I don't really know how to fight this argument because like I'm not trying to say Sonic 3 is bad because the more I'm playing it on this collection, the more fun I am actually having. Like, it's really enjoyable being able to play it at 60 FPS. It's really enjoyable being able to play it widescreen. Like, there's a lot of positives here that are making this way more enjoyable for me than usual. But like, I can't deny that right now I'm just thinking of Blitzing Through Emerald Hill or Mystic Cave Zone. <laughs> like, my, as of today, like, obviously my Sonic 2 playthrough has begun going up. Uh, episode 10 came out there yesterday, and episode 11 will be coming out later today, uh, as I'm recording this, and my ear is going woo 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 for some reason. Um, why am I getting this casino one a lot? I don't remember what I was talking about before I went in there. I was gonna wait till we got out, and then I've just completely forgotten. Oh well. Um, well, moving on. <laughs> I- oh my god, I've, I've completely blanked. I don't know where to go from here. Help! Come down. Thank you. Oh well, I guess I'll just move on to something else. But what will that be? I do not know. This is like the Let's Player curse right now whenever you've completely blanked on a thing to say. So I'm filling the dead air by talking about how much I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> um... Sure is a whole lot of not rings showing up! <laughs> Tails, you're gonna die. There he goes. Okay. Yeah, I think I was just saying, like, how much more of a good experience I'm having playing this game uh, because of it being an upgraded version at last. And I know that there's better fan versions out there. I've never really been a fan of playing, like, mods and, like, fan-made versions and even fan-made stuff in general. I kind of like official official experiences, authentic experiences, I was going to say. Like, only. I don't know. I kinda, I'm kind of very vanilla in that way. Like, even, like, Minecraft and stuff, it's like, I don't play with mods even though there's so much shit that would make the game better. It's like, I like the vanilla experience. I like what the devs have made for us. I mean, even in that regard, like, some of the most recent updates of Minecraft, I'm just kind of like, what is this? Like, this isn't... <laughs> this isn't Minecraft. This is just weird. Please be a thing. Oh, no. Ah, damn. I was gonna move to the left, and hopefully there was, like, a, a hidden wall, and then I hit the spike and died. But you know, because you saw that. Okay, there isn't one there either. Good to know. Let's, I mean, only one place left to check, right? Okay. Let's check it. There probably isn't. But now I've committed, so... Okay. <laughs> for, it was for science! Fuck science! Science is bullshit! What has science ever done for us, huh? I imagine there's something in here. Tails, no! Don't go in without me! Hang on, maybe I could do this without using a new mechanic. Yes! There we go, finally. All right, let's go activate the one over here. We got another special stage to participate. Oh, I remember. No, do I? Oh, this one's weird. I have no commentary for this shit anymore. I'm sorry. I don't know, sometimes, like, the music just, you know, it just takes me, man, you know? You gotta just, you just gotta just accept the music sometimes. And right there, I let the music take me in a direction that I never expected to go. Ah, this is where the section, this, this part of the game gets weird. Oh, fuck! Oh, god! Oh, god, I panicked so bad there! <laughs> no. I don't need your pity coin bullshit. Basically, I immediately was like, okay, I want to do a thing. Oh, wait, I regret my decision, I want to go back, and then I just fuck everything up. It was a mistake. It's because I didn't want to leave all those, like, I didn't want to leave the blue spheres behind, but I also didn't want to turn them all red and lose where I was. I like being able to come back to where I was. Can I reach that with you? Just, just barely. Oh, good job, Tails. I didn't ask you to grab me. Okay, I, I think this one is just a waiting thing. Like, you're supposed to just wait for it to uh, close in. And then in Mania, like, we have trash that, like, helps bring the floor up. But it's interesting you can't actually hit it because Tails did. But I suppose Tails could hit it with his Tails in his playthrough, like... Hang on. Oh, Tails can't use his Tails for damage in this one. Or at least while I'm being carried. At least I hope I'm doing this right. I assume so. It's not like I can reach. Yeah, there we go. Ah, son of a bitch! I've hit myself somehow. Wait, checkpoint? Oh yeah, we have to do the climb. I forgot about this. Always nice to incorporate a little platforming section. I always hated that, though. That you could never make it up the run on the first try. And then you gotta, like, backtrack and either wait for or spin dash. Okay, now I have to wait. 
Unless Teal's want to respawn. Yeah, he respawns just fine here. I don't know how, like, things got messed up in Sonic 2. But Sonic 2 and CD and, and 1 are the ones that had, like, like, tweaks done by Sega themselves. So, like, that would be Sega's fault. Okay, so going up ahead was not worth it. Oh, yeah, there's another section of boss here, isn't there? Yes. They fixed this... No. It, well, his spray looks really ugly in the original. I don't know if I... Maybe maybe it didn't. If it does look ugly in the original, put it up on screen, because I think I remember his original sprite looking really stupid on this one. But, uh... Yeah. I always really never cared much for this boss. It's kind of boring. Like, it's slow. It doesn't really do anything. Like, like look at this. And then it's just this. Again, more cool 3D effects on his arms, but like, ah, oh, come on. I only died because I got- I went through him. I mean, it's cool in a way when you think about it, it's like a double boss, but I suppose you didn't really fight anything the first time. Although, if this was Sonic CD, that first section would have absolutely been a boss. They would have just been like, yep, back it in, that's a boss. You're done. You played the game. Alright. Where's our hang gliders? No, we don't get that. But, oh god. So yeah, remember earlier when I said that I was like, oh yeah, all the zones in Sonic 3 are, or Sonic and Knuckles are actually pretty good. And I was like, oh yeah, there's maybe like a bad one. This one. This zone, like, I like pyramid -y and sandy type levels. This is not one of the ones I like. This has a thematic music, but I think it's a bad stage. It's a bad stage in terms of layout. It's a bad stage in terms of fun. It's a bad stage in terms of the music. I think it's just boring as shit. I hate this stage. This is always where I start to, start to drop off of Sonic uh, 3. Because it's just like, I get bored of this so quickly. I mean, usually I get bored by, like, Mushroom Hill. Because Mushroom Hill is just kind of boring as well. Like, again, like, the music isn't very energetic or exciting. It's just kind of music. But, I don't know. Th this is where I just sort of lose most of my interest. I, I think most people can agree that Sandopolis is not that good. Can I get up here? Can I drop dash on this? No. I want to see if there's like, if there's going to be anything. Ah, I can't do it. I imagine there's nothing, but I'm trying to investigate if there's like a ring or something. I could try and use teals, but like, I really don't think that's worth it. Oh yeah, you can go down here, can't you? Yeah, there's like platforms and stuff down here. Okay, I was hoping this would be a ring. Not like a, a normal ring, but, you know, big ring. Big flashy ring. Oh no, don't get squashed. It is cool to see like quicksand though in Sonic in a way. Like, I don't, again, it doesn't really like make this level any more enjoyable, but like it's not something that you see too much in Sonic games. It's usually a Mario thing. But here it is in Sonic. It's, it's a good idea because it's like, it's something that forces Sonic to slow down and anything that forces Sonic to slow down, whilst inherently not fun, makes sense because being the fastest thing alive, how do you stop the fastest thing alive? You slow him down. Like, it makes sense logistically why those traps would be in here, but it just doesn't work for gameplay. Like, these sand waterfalls, like, they're not fun either. And then you have these grappling sections, which again, it's like, why am I doing this? Like, again, it, it's probably for uh, style, for, for what's it called? Spectacle? But it's so <laughs> uninteresting. Especially these sand pyramids where you slowly go down, or these sand waterfalls. Like, look at this. This one's supposed to be for climbing, but like, it's it's so hard to like wiggle your way out of it. I don't know. I don't think this is a good zone. I don't think many people like this zone. And Act 2. I think Act 2 is more interesting because of its concept, but it's also not fun at all. And you'll you'll see when we get there, which will be next episode. But we'll wrap this one up as soon as we can. Is there gonna be hidden any hidden rings in here? No. Okay. You gonna get it? Any hidden rings over here? And then like things like this, you'd think like, oh yeah, it'll just carry me around the corner. No. It would make sense to carry you around the corner, but it doesn't. I don't even think this takes me anywhere. Nope. I just wasted my time for nothing, and I fell all the way back down. Like, there's a lot of just weird level decision, level design decisions in this stage. I don't get it. 
Like even this, like I don't even have to zip line. I can just probably just jump down to where I need to go. Yeah. I was really worried that that was going to be the time I bit my words and just died. I ironically don't need the water shield. We don't need to hydrate. God, imagine if they put a hydration meter in for one stage. Even though Sonic hates water, it's like... Oh, okay. Spamming jump gets you out of that. Even though all the other sand has taught me that spamming jump keeps me in it. But it's because I don't trust that corner. Like, that corner doesn't look like it's going to keep me. Well, let's see, I guess. Oh, it did. I really thought I was going to fall out. I thought I recalled falling out before uh, on corners, but maybe I've just been wrong this entire time. Woo! Okay. I don't know where I am. I don't know where all the goodies are. All right, well, there goes my goodie. Why is it so cramped as well? Let me jump. Oh, okay. Well, aren't you just a piece of shit? Like, they have... Damn. They have some, like, moments of speed with, like, those launchers, but, like... Then you have a whole lot of this. And I saw a giant ring behind my face cam there. Uh, I would have probably darkened my screen so you could see it, but, like... How do I get there? I don't know. Other than using teals, I have no idea how I would have gotten there. More of this... Where am I now? Find a ring. You know, for like a pyramid kind of level where you'd expect a lot of secrets, I'm finding very little secrets. And now we come to a boss that isn't related to Eggman as far as I'm aware. I also don't understand, like, is this pyramid rising? I guess it is. But this boss also is very uninteresting. It's like, oh cool, a rock golem thing. Um, you don't hit him. You just, you just walk away. Do you hit him? Oh. You can hit him, but that doesn't do very much. Yeah, it's it's just making this go on longer than it needs to. So we will stand here, and we will wait for him to come towards us. My thoughts exactly, Sonic. Like, this is very underwhelming. Like, I know, like, a lot of the bosses in Sonic games are not that interesting to begin with, but, like, oh boy. I hit him! There we go. And that's it. But he blows up, so maybe he is an Eggman robot, but it looks like he's just meant to be like an ancient golem type thing. I don't know. Very underwhelming boss. But there we go. We got through Act 1 in 6 minutes, 15 seconds. That was abysmal. This was a slightly longer episode, so thank you so much for watching, my friends. We will now go inside the pyramid for the next hellhole that awaits us. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.